In this video, we're going to focus on the tooltip specifically in the donut chart here. So how can we customize this specific label? As you can see here, I've added some extra information where you can show a number, a percentage of it, and then we add up some extra text, and then we also extract the label that's matching with it. So the number is here, basically from the item, but also the label of Sunday, as you can see, then the day is Sunday. If you move over here, red equals Monday, and etc etc so let's start to explore how to do this in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to customize label text in the tooltip in a donut chart in chart.js so this question came from one of my other videos about how to show data labels uh, only in one specific bar and in here a special thank you to rdx apollon and this is what rdx apollon asks Hello sir, how to customize the text label tooltip in a donut chart in chart.js? Please help me. All right, so let's start to explore how to do this right now. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going here to the website chartjs3.com and then go to this specific section here, getting started. I get this weird message here on Google Chrome. I don't know why, but it, will, it works normally on Firefox. However, copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to understand what this code does, please check out this specific video here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just paste this in here. And the moment we paste it in here, I'm going to just move the title here. And let's remove the space here. All right. Save that and refresh. So now we have this here. And the next thing what I want to do here, and I realize that this is already uh, slightly outdated. Just recently, they have launched Charges version 3.6, which is interesting because that one is the latest version so this should be 3.6 i'll just correct that one there and then what i want to do here is basically you can see here we have this bar chart and what i want to do is i want to convert it into a pie chart and i want to remove the scale structure of that so i'm going in here let me say here instead of type we can convert it to a pie or for number sake, almost donut chart so i'm going to remove as well all the scale settings here Save that, refresh, there you are. So now we have a donut chart. What I want to do now is reduce the size of this. So we go here up and just go and put in here. Uh, instead of a width of 700, we do 400 because it is now a square shape instead of a rectangular. There we are. So now we have this. And what we want to do really here is the tooltip to adjust the text label in here. So let's start to look how we can do this. In the tooltip, or basically in the plugins, or options, sorry, in the options, we're going to use plugins. And in this namespace of plugins, we're going to put in tooltip. And then here, we're going to give it the following. Basically, what we need here is a callback, and callbacks with an S here. And what this really does is basically to create or pinpoint specifically on the label or the label text to return certain values that we want. So to do this, we're going to put in here label because we want to pinpoint the label and then in here, we're going to say the context. So this will be the argument. So I'm going to put in here a uh, function, uh, sorry, an arrow function here. And basically this is the argument we're going to use. So basically here, what we're really saying just function this function. That's basically the same here, but we just change this without typing function because that's a more common way to do it now. It's probably a more better way to do it. And then in here we can start to work on what i can do here is for example say console log and just grab in here the context if i save this now refresh you can see here now if you hover over nothing happens here or at least it doesn't show any values but if we are here as you can see here we hover over the specific item we can see here all the context data and the context data consists of all kind of items that we have such as the the data index, the data set, the data set index, which is important, and of course, the values. We have the formatted values, or probably the parse value would be more appropriate, which is 18 for this red one here, which is correct. And then you can see here the label is Monday, which is the red one that is Monday. So let's put in these things in here. So to do this, what we need to do here is just to grab here certain items. So let's say we want to grab here the label. So we're going to grab your label. To get this is basically context.label. And the moment we do this, we can save this now and refresh. And now if you hover over, you can see here now, 
we are now extracting the specific label value so what we want to do now is not only that but maybe we want to get here uh, the parsed if you remember the parsed well let me show you that one as well just to make sure save this refresh we parse again you can see here we get number 18 and how do we get the number 18 because of the parse is considered equal number 18 so this is all matching together so for example, you want to put in here a value. Let's say this is number 18 would be a dollar sign or a percentage or something. We can do the following. Let's do a return because in the return, we're basically going to show or return the value that we want. So if we do just in basic, let's say parsed, and if I save this semicolon here, save, refresh, you can see here now it will return a value, but it will only return the number 18, which is the parsed value. So let's do something a bit more um, appealing. Let's go to remove this here and I'm going to make a new return. And what I want to do here is I'm going to use here uh, template literals, which are back ticks. So back ticks are below your keyboard or below on your keyboard, uh, below the escape button of your keyboard. That's the correct term. And then in here, we're going to put in some text and we concatenate all together. And this is an easy way. So let's say this is a dollar sign for dollar money. So, and then we get the parse. A value we can get this parse value but then we need to use a dollar parentheses indicating that this is a specific value so we could say here if you want for Monday it would be then $18 with a dollar sign here and we could say here and the day is and then we can get here of course the context label we put in another dollar sign curly braces and then we have here the label so the moment we do this semicolon save this and refresh you can see here now we get a long long uh, tooltip here with all the information we have customized in here and of course you could do all kind of items here you could put in your percentage you can change everything here and then with these back ticks makes it all quite easy and it's basically how you can control items in the tooltip you can see here now we get the percentage value instead of a dollar sign so if you like to know more about the tooltips, I highly recommend you to watch this specific video about how to add more information in the tooltip in Chart.js. This is a 20 minute video long covering every specific item of the tooltip and how you can customize them. Highly recommendable for you if you want to learn more about this.